at that. Woo, 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 woo. Window closed, window open, window closed, window open, window closed, window open. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, woo, woo, woo. Window closed, window open, window closed, window open. Hi everybody, welcome to another installment of You Do You. I'm Alan, the resident PhD in AV. And today we're gonna to talk about security alarms. We're talking about what is the theory behind what is working and how to wire them up. So, let's get started. Oh my gosh, look at that, there's already, there's already a diagram. Oh man. Okay, so before we actually talk about what a security panel does and how the wiring works, we're gonna talk about how a series circuit works, okay? So this is a small picture. This is a battery right here, positive on one side, negative on another, and we're feeding these light bulbs. So in a regular circuit, you've got a wire that goes up to the light bulb. Now the electricity travels through the light bulb. So if you were to pull the, the light bulb out, the electricity wouldn't flow through. It has to go through the light bulb, comes down, goes up to the next light bulb, goes through the light bulb, comes down, up, through the light bulb and back down. That's a complete circuit. That's what we'd call a closed circuit, right? A closed connection. If I unscrew that light bulb, this becomes an open circuit. This wire will not make that jump across that gap right there. It doesn't bridge the gap on its own. It needs something to bridge the gap for it. In this case, it's a light bulb. Sometimes it might be a light switch, right? So we have a light switch and you have your electricity here, positive and negative. And when the switch closes, bloop, the switch, the electricity can now flow through, go up to the light bulb. I guess it wouldn't be positive, negative, it'd be positive and positive. Doesn't matter, I don't wanna confuse you guys. So, point is, is you've got a switch here and it closes, electricity travels through and continues on. Open circuit, closed circuit, open circuit, closed circuit. You guys can do that at home, pretty fun, huh? All right, so this would be considered a closed circuit and these light bulbs will all turn on. If I were to cut that cable, bloop, even though you've got electricity traveling through the light bulbs, it's not completing the circuit. It's not finishing it over here. So it's not actually gonna flow through the, the light bulbs because it's gonna stop there. That's an open circuit, light bulbs don't work. Take out any light bulb in there, not gonna work. In order for this circuit to work, this is a series circuit. In order for that circuit to work, it needs to be complete. All the light bulbs need to be in place and the wire needs to be intact from start to finish. That is the same principle that we're dealing with on security panels. This right here is a very secure, a very simple security circuit. To every window and every door, we're running one cable, and that cable has two wires inside of it. Sometimes one's red, one's green, one's black, one's red, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter the color. It's got, each cable has two wires inside of it. That's what this represents here. That's one wire, that's another wire. This right here, that's the contact, that's the part that you stick at the bottom or side of the window, wherever you're gonna put it, that's the contact. This right here is what's going on inside of the contact. This black thing right here is called a reed switch. What it is is like a really feathery, flimsy um, wire, very delicate. And this thing right here, when I put a magnet on the window contact, when I put a magnet on the window contact, the contact closes. This reed switch, bloop, goes over and it closes the contact. Okay, so every time I close my window, the contact closes. That tells the security panel, bloop, oh, it's closed, we can arm the system. This little squiggly guy right here, that's called a resistor. That helps the security panel monitor the wiring to make sure that the wiring is actually there, that it's actually intact. The security panel doesn't want to see an open, the security panel does not want to see a short. It wants to see the value of that resistor. Um, that's a squiggly line is. A resistor looks like, I had a resistor. I'll find a resistor. I'll find a resistor and show you a picture. Um, the panel wants to see the value of that resistor, sometimes 5K, sometimes 5.2K. Whatever the value of that resistor is, that's what the panel wants to see. So uh, let's shoot over and let's do a quick demonstration to show you how it actually works. Okay, this here, this is an actual um, security window contact. This is, uh, this is really what they look like. This is really the one that we're gonna use here. So this right here, this is just a magnet. Nothing special about that. 
So the wiring that I have going from the security cabinet would connect to these wires here. We have two wires, right? In each cable we have two wires. And here we have two wires. One goes to one. It doesn't matter which one goes to one. It's all the same. It doesn't matter, so don't even pay attention to that. Okay? So there's my security contact. This right here is a, a continuity tester. So right now there's no lights on it. Uh, that means the circuit is open. When I bring the magnet close to the window contact, the circuit is going to close and my continuity tester is going to light up. Here we go. Ready? And... Bam! Look at that. Woo, 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 woo. Window closed, window open, window closed, window open, window closed, window open. That's how a window contact works. Door contacts are exactly the same. They look different, but they serve the exact same purpose. As soon as the magnet comes in close, that reed switch flips, and the um, contact makes up, it closes. Done deal. That is exactly how your window contact is going to work. Pretty simple, right? Couldn't get any clearer than that. So that's a very simple circuit. That's just one device on the circuit. Um, I did find my resistors. That is a resistor, just one. Okay, that's one resistor right there. It's a thin wire with a little dude in the middle. And another wire, this is a whole pack here. Okay, these are the ones out on my panel. So, pretty simple. Um, one cable goes out, hits the contact. Contact closes, you, got the, you have two wires coming out of your contact, my wire's connecting both sides, contact closes when the magnet goes on there, boom, complete circuit, done deal. We should be ready at this point to go wire up our, our security panel. Um, before we go, are there any questions? Uh, you, yeah, the enthusiastic one in the back. Uh, what question do you have for me today? Oh my gosh, thank you for calling on me. Oh my gosh, I just love you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm here talking to you. I loved you on Wipeout. I bought this shirt. This is the shirt you wore on Wipeout. And I bought it on eBay and it was only $10,000. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I love you. You are so smart. You are so talented. You're amazing. Oh, you're just perfect. Anyways, um, I just want to know, like, you're talking about how to combine all of these devices on the same circuit. And like, I don't really know how, what was Jill like? Was Jill amazing? Okay, anyways, um, I wanna know how to actually do the wiring. When I take all the devices and I put them on one zone, like, how do I put the wiring together? And um, I love you, thank you. Yeah, that was a little weird, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I am a wipeout wipe champion, so, ha <laughs> kind of a big deal. I mean, my fans are always chasing me. So, great question. Um, if I want to group together multiple windows or multiple doors into a zone, how do I do it on the wiring? Great question. So, this is what it looks like as a schematic. So the circuit would go here, go through one window, and you got the read switch on the window. Go to the next window, read switch, next window, read switch. So, um, this here, it would kind of be a little bit confusing just to understand, but just so some of you guys might understand the theory. This is the theory. That's the one wire comes out of the security panel, goes through the contact, then it goes, it would actually come back to the panel, connect to the wire, connects to the next wire, go out to the window, connect to the contact, come back to the panel, fuse to the next wire, splice onto the next wire, and then go back out to the next window and then come back. That's usually the easiest way to do it. Um, once again, we'll show you a demonstration of that. And then when it comes back to the panel, it hits the resistor and uh, good to go. So we'll do a quick demonstration of that. Fantastic question. We get that one a lot. Um, so let's shoot over, check it out, and now come back. The question was asked, how do we actually do the wiring when we want to join the zones? So this is uh, the little lab that we've set up here. Um, these are all window contacts. Um, I just kind of taped them down to the table so they stay put because they want to go everywhere. Um, these right here are the magnets. And this is my uh, continuity tester. So um, since each one of these contacts has two wires coming out of it, and we're running a cable that also has two wires in it, and we're going to splice our two wires onto these two wires, I'm going to go ahead and say that these two wires are actually now in my cabinet. Okay, since I'm splicing onto it, those same exact wires are going to be inside my cabinet. 
um, I mean not the exact wires, but their function is going to be inside my cabinet. So we're going to pretend that the connections that I've made here are actually connections that I'm making inside the cabinet. So um, just to kind of make it a little clearer for you on what we're doing here. So what I've done is you can see that this switch here is connected to this switch here. One wire from this switch goes to one wire from this switch. And one wire from this switch goes to one wire from this switch. See, they're connected right there. And then the other wire from this switch would connect to my panel, which my panel is being represented by my um, continuity tester. And the other side of this wire would be going also to my panel, which in this case is my continuity tester. So in essence, it's going from my continuity tester into this switch, from this switch to this switch, from this switch to this switch, and then back to my continuity tester again, or panel, okay? So there's my splices, that's what we've done. Here's the connections to my continuity tester. There's my light, here's my magnets. As you see, the light is off right now. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that. The light is off. If I put one magnet on it, which would represent closing one window, the light is still off. All right, well, let's go close another window. Light is still off. Let's go close another window. Oh, snap, did you see that? Whoa, oh, baby. All right, we are in business. This is how you would put multiple devices on one circuit. Multiple devices on one zone. So now we have three windows, which we're gonna put on our panel as one zone. And it doesn't matter which window I open. As soon as I open one window, boom, the whole circuit's dead. This is a series circuit. Any one of these windows is violated, any switch, any door, any contact of any kind that is in series with any of the devices violates the entire zone. There it is, open, close, open, close, open. Let's go to this guy, open. Uh oh, that one's too close. Close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Close it, this guy over here. Bam, 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 woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. See dude, we have a party all day long. I don't even know why I get games. This is way more fun. Okay, this is how we're gonna put multiple devices on one zone. Uh, let's go back to Alan at You Do You and let him finish up. I feel pretty confident that we have enough information now that we can wire up our security panel. So any more questions? Great. All right, let's have her the panel and uh, let's get our hands on this sucker.